so we ended up actually signing a five-year lease to rent this warehouse so we could throw a party in it a week later. And so we had a warehouse. We had a big warehouse. My name's Jesse Fleming, and I'm one of the co-founders of The Do Lab. We're, uh, we're here in our shop in downtown Los Angeles. One of the main things we do is music. We, we book a lot of shows all over the city and, and we do our festivals. In addition to that, we're, we're artists and designers, so we, we build pretty large-scale art installations that we set up at other music festivals, like Coachella, and we've taken designs and projects all over the world in the past few years. Coachella's definitely been a huge opportunity for us over the years to to build our fan base and develop our design skills. We'll swing by the old warehouse and, and take a look at the, the building. So for one of the big events we had at this warehouse, the second big event we had there, we had blocked off both sides of the alley and we built a music stage out there and had all, you know, lounges and all this art and stuff. And we had filled our warehouse up and then filled the alley up with people. There were so many people, it was completely unsafe. You know, and we were young and this was before we really followed the rules and we got busted. The fire and police showed up, it was a huge deal. Tons of fire trucks, probably like 20 police officers. And we ended up getting, getting fined and getting in a lot of trouble. From that day on, that's kind of when we went legit with the business. Yeah. You know, we couldn't do anything renegade anymore because we were on probation for two years. Eventually, people started to ask us to build things for their events or bring our things, you know, to their event and set them up for a couple hundred bucks, which we were more than happy to do because, you know, it was what we wanted to do. It was a lot of fun. You know, we did it all from scratch. We never really learned the proper. We learned the proper way to do things by doing things the wrong way, and you know, making mistakes. So this is our old little, our little street, it's a little cul-de-sac. When we moved out, they didn't paint it over, which is great. We thought they would just paint it over a bit. And the cool thing is, you know, all these buildings get graffitied like crazy because there's tons of people graffitiing. But after our friend painted this building, for years, the, every tag's everywhere, but nobody ever touched this building. It's pretty cool to get respect from all the graffiti kids. This is the alley. This, we, we parked five ton trucks on both ends and we couldn't even get to the warehouse. It took like 30 minutes to get from the front of the warehouse to the back. That's how many people were in there. It was crazy. Once the police and the fire showed up, Bass Nectar was playing, like they cut him off halfway through his set. He was pissed. He never likes that. We could never pay ourselves. We were all, we were broke, you know? It was the whole starving artist thing, which we did for a long time. And eventually, we, the festival started to pick up after a few years, and we were able to move out of the warehouse and kind of live somewhere else. You ever miss it? Not at all. I never miss it. And every time we drive through this, this neighborhood, I just kind of cringe. I can't even believe that we lived here for so long. Grandma, I sleep as now.